In this video, we are going to see how to upload data from Microsoft Excel to Google Sheets in real time. So let's say you are using Excel as a spreadsheet software and you want that every time new data is added as a new row in the spreadsheet, automatically the same data should be added as a new row in your Google Sheets. Now how would you do that? For this, you will have to integrate these two applications and you can do that with the help of Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Excel and your action application would be Google Sheets. Now, how you can do this yourself? To show you that, let me take you to my screen. So let us now begin with the process. The first thing we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of the software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to sign up. It will not take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And now it has taken me to the All Apps page. Here, since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect, let's click on Access Now. So now it has taken us to the dashboard. Here on the right hand side, you can see Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And now we have to name our workflow. So here, what are we doing? We have to upload data from Excel to Google Sheets in real time. So I'm going to name my workflow as MS Excel to Google Sheets integration and now let's click on create so once this is done we have this like we have reached this particular page which has got two very important actions trigger and so finally this new window appears which has got two very important events trigger and action triggers and actions are those two concepts or principles on which this entire automation works so Trigger basically says when this happens, an action says do this. Action is the response of the trigger. Now here, what would be our trigger application? MS Excel. So let's write Excel and let's click on this. Now the trigger event. So for this trigger event, we have to have what should happen? You know, there is a new row in worksheet. So every time there's a new row in worksheet, then only this information should be added to our Google Sheets. So let's click on this and click on connect. So I have already logged into my Microsoft Excel account. I'm all going to click on add new connection and then connect with Microsoft Excel. We have to do this process because Pabli Connect is here asking to connect itself with Microsoft Excel account so that it can receive the information. Now here, let's choose the account. And once we come down, let's provide the access so that the authorization can get successful. So once done, this means that Pabli Connect and Microsoft Excel are totally connected. Now here we have to select the workbook. So here the workbook that I've already created is book XLS. And here we have first name, last name, email address, and the contact number. So I'm going to choose this one going back to Pabli Connect. So here, see the book has already been acquired and the sheet. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here, this is the information that we have received. So we have received the name, first names, last name, then the email address and then the mobile number. So this is how we have received it. Now, what is it that we are supposed to do? We have to integrate Google Sheets with Excel. So the next application is Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And now what would be the action event? We will have to add a new row. So every time we get information, a new row would be added along with the information. So let's click on connect. Again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. For this, we are going to click on add new connection and then connect with Google Sheets. And then we will have to select the account. Let's select this and provide the access. So let's click on continue. And now we can see that the authorization has been successful. So if I come down here, we have to select the spreadsheet. So for this, let me show you. So this is the new lead data. I've already created this file and the categories are first name, last name, email address and mobile number. Going back to Pabli Connect, let's map the information. Mapping basically means the same thing, the information that we have already received, we are going to take it here. 
So new lead data is the name of the split sheet. Since there is only one sheet, it has already been acquired as sheet one. Now the first name. So let's fill in the first name. So the first name here is smart. Then the last name here again is Excel. Then we have the email address. Let's fill in this information. So this is the email address and then we have the mobile number. So this is our mobile number. So once we have mapped the data, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received the response. So once done, basically what should happen, this information that we had fed in our Excel sheet should be captured by the Google Sheets. So let's go to our Google Sheets. And here you can see that yes, we have received the same information. Smart Excel is now a part of our Google Sheets. So this means that this integration between Excel Sheets and Google Sheets is a total success. Now we have to check this in real time. So I'm again going to go back to my Excel Sheet account and here let's fill in some other information. So it's demo and the last name is name and it is demo name at pablitudes.com. And then we have the contact number. So, yep, done. Now, let me take you back to my Google Sheets and refresh the page. So, here you can see that we haven't received the information. Why? For this, let me take you to my Pabli account and go up. Here you can see that it is written that this trigger will check for new data in every eight hours, which means the trigger application has a polling time of eight hours. So this workflow will run after every eight hours to check for the data. Now we'll have to wait for eight hours to see if we have received the information on our Google Sheets or no. So let's do that. And then I'm going to come back to my Google Sheet. So once we have refreshed the page here, you can see that we have received this information. Now, this is just a one time process. You do not have to set up this entire integration again and again. So now every time you have some new information on your Excel sheet, automatically the same information will be updated on your Google Sheet. I hope this is very much clear to you. We are going to go back to Pabli Connect and understand the entire process. It is a very simple two-step integration process where our trigger application was Microsoft Excel and we had chosen our event as new row in worksheet. Next, the action application was Google Sheets and our action application was add new row. In case you have any other doubt, you can refer to the workflow. The same workflow is given in the video description. You can always clone this and process immediately. If you have any other suggestion or advice, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.